zero smart point meals. If that's piqued your interest, then stay tuned. You'll find out what I'm talking about. Hello. The topic for today's video is something that I've got quite a bit experience in. Have you ever found yourself at the end of the day with very few or no smart points left for you to be able to eat your evening meal? Well, unfortunately for me, I've found myself in that position, but Fortunately for you, I've discovered many meals that are pretty low in smart points, even one that's zero smart points. I found myself early on when I was first beginning Weight Watchers, in order for me to remember what I ate so that I, if I didn't have the opportunity to track exactly when I was eating, I began to take pictures with my cell phone. Well, over the years, I have accumulated several pictures of my food. So today, when I go over these meals, the low smart point or zero smart point meals, I'm gonna try to add a picture for each one of them. I'm gonna specifically stay within home prepared meals. I'll first start off with a few low smart point meals. First of all, I want to explain that I'm not a professional photographer, so don't judge these pictures by how well they're taken. I mainly wanted to pick foods that were variety. And I'm going to be looking at my notes, so I'm just warning you, there'll be times where I don't look straight at the camera, but it's because I want to give you accurate information. I picked my top five favorite low smart point, or as in the case of number one, no smart point meal, a zero smart point meal. All right, let's start with number five. Number five is a Cook's ham steak, a half of a medium sweet potato, and a good half a cup of green beans. Now that whole meal was only seven smart points. Whatever points that I will say today are based on the blue plan to get back to the ham steak. And I think that it's three ounces is four smart points. The half a sweet potato is three smart points and the green beans are zero. So that's a total of seven smart points. Now the other, which was from a January the 1st meal, the cooked cabbage is zero smart points. I do add just a little bit of olive oil when I'm preparing that. With that meal, you have still the four smart points for the ham. If you want to count the olive oil, count one smart point with that. And then the black eyed peas are also zero smart points. So that's a total of five smart points for that meal. And you know, even though it looks a little sloppy, it was delicious. Number four in the top five countdown is a meal that consists of sockeyed salmon, a half a sweet potato, and corn on the cob. Now, the sockeyed salmon, it's four ounces. It's zero smart points on the blue plan. The corn on the cob is zero smart points on the blue plan. And then you've got the half of the medium sweet potato and it is four smart points. And one tablespoon of cocktail sauce, zero 
smart points. So this whole meal is only four smart points for the whole meal. And that salmon is made with um, chubacabra is the seasoning that I use. I'm able to order that off of Amazon. If you've never heard of it, it, it has just a little bit of a kick and it, it's very delicious. We use that seasoning more than we use anything else other than salt. Uh, but it's prepared with the chubacabra and then a couple of tablespoons at the most of the Skinny Girl Dijon mustard dressing, which is zero smart points. So, number four is salmon with a total of four smart points on the blue plan. The next meal is made with ground turkey, and it's my Chilio turkey chili. I try to find the farm to family butterball ground turkey. It's low in fat. This one doesn't have an amount of the fat, but when you scan it, it's zero smart points. And that is what I try to find. This particular turkey chili that the picture is of was prepared with that farm to family and it's two smart points on the blue plan. I also use Goya kidney beans because they don't have sugar in them. If you can find kidney beans without sugar, that's what you need to be using because uh, they have no points. They're a lot less calories too. Now I will eat at least five saltine crackers with this chili. And when I do that, that does add two more points to it. But that meal, which is turkey chili with five crackers, is four smart points. Now we're to number two on my low smart point meals. This one is my chicken goulash. I've spoken about my chicken goulash several times on this channel because when we first started Weight Watchers, we developed this meal and it has been a staple. We have it, we used to have it at least once a week. Now, because we're both not in the active weight loss mode, we probably have it about every other week because it's very simple to prepare. It's a one dish meal and we really like it. Now, this one in particular was made with um, sauteed chicken, onions, bell peppers, mushrooms, and then the vegetable of choice for that night was carrots. And when you put all of that together, it's two smart points on the blue plan. Now, I also make it with uh, whole kernel corn, and that drops it down to one smart point. But the picture that I had was two smart points. Uh, the whole kernel corn makes it one smart point. So number two on our list of five is either two smart points with the carrots or one smart point with the whole kernel corn. Both of those are from a can. That's why they have any points whatsoever. They're not fresh, they're canned carrots and canned corn. And now we come to number one on our list of five low, or as in this case, zero smart point meal on the blue plan. This is sauteed chicken with Dell steak sauce and chubacabra seasoning. Zero smart points. We have a salad there that is a cucumber and tomato salad with at least a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of the Skinny Girl poppy seed dressing. One of my favorites, zero smart points. And then finally, we have a baked acorn squash, a good helping of it. And all that has been added to that is just a little bit of olive oil, not enough for it to accumulate points and salt. 
So this whole meal that you see before you is zero smart points. If you're struggling to come up with something that is very low in smart points, I hope this video has given you ideas to help you conquer the problems you might have not having too many smart points left in a day. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you would like other plans, points, leave me a comment below. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing if you like my ideas. Another day, I'll come up with some low point smart points for eating out. Goodbye.